Welcome. Today we're going to check out a free design editor. No login required. I'm going to show you a feature it has you can't get in the free version of Canva. This totally free editor is called Palatno, and I'll put a link in the description. After I run through some basic features, I'll show you the feature I like best. Okay, let's jump over to Palatno and get started on a design. If we click on Resize you'll see a menu open containing the most common social media canvases. Instagram. Facebook. YouTube. Lots of choices for quick designing. And. Just like on Canva you can enter a custom size if you want. Just enter the number of pixels or adjust the up and down arrows. So. Let's go down the menu and click on YouTube thumbnail. Then we can click on templates. There's lots of pre-built templates to choose from. Here, let's grab one and take a look. You see we can click on any of the elements to work with them. We can move elements around, resize them, or change their colors. Here, Watch how easy it is to delete the main image and replace it. We'll go grab a different image from the image library. Then we can just click on it or drag it onto our design. Resizing it to fit is easy by just dragging the corners of the image. Adjustments and edits are easy in Palatno. And just like in Canva we have a position tab to make quick adjustments to elements. Let's head on over and click on the icons button. Lots of choices in here. Let's type YouTube into the search bar. Whoa! Plenty of options available. We can just click on them or drag them wherever we want them. Let's go look at some other cool features. If we don't want to save our design, we can just clear the canvas. Let's take a look at some of the cool backgrounds we have available. Or, we can find a more natural background by searching for something like waterfall. Then we can dress it up by adding some text. And then we can play around with all the other options. Color. Font. Bold. Italics. Size. You get the idea. Okay. Now, if we remove the text we can try something else. Let's go down and click on the resize button again. With one click we can change our design to fit an Instagram post. Then by clicking on templates, we get all these ready-made options. We can easily pick one to work with. And, then grab any icons we need. Okay, so let's clear our screen and go look at some other stuff. If we click on elements we can find lots of objects to work with in our designs. A search for borders brings up some interesting elements to work with. Let's see how this one looks on our design canvas. After resizing it I think it looks good. Let's use it in our design. We can go over and pick out a background. Then, of course, we can always add our text next. Now, I want to show you my favorite feature in Free Palatno Studio. As you probably know, the free version of Canva only gives you two folders. If you like to organize your projects, you know that's not nearly enough. But, in Palatno Studio, it's easy to download and organize your projects. You get to save your projects right to your computer and organize them any way you want. Then you can open them up right inside Palatno to continue working on them. Here, let me show you how easy it is to do. This is a presentation slide I prepared ahead of time to show you this feature. We'll just head up top and click on save. 
If you look down below, you'll see it has downloaded to your computer. Once a project is downloaded to your computer, you can save and organize it any way you want to. If we head back into Palatno we can see how easy it is to retrieve a project file. Just click up top on open. Then, select and open the project file you need. Now you'll see. You have a fully editable project file. Now, get on Palatno Studio, and try it yourself. Practice, and have fun with your new design editor.